Hello students. Today I would like to give you a brief overview of bioinformatics. So first of all, let me introduce the term bioinformatics. Bioinformatics was coined by Pauline Hogweg and Ben Hasper in 1978. A simple definition of bioinformatics is the application of tools of computation and analysis to the capture and interpretation of biological data. Bioinformatics is essential for management of data in modern biology and medicine. The bioinformatics toolbox includes computer software programs such as BLAST and Ensemble, etc. Main achievement of bioinformatics to date is the analysis of the human genome project and the future prospects functional understanding of the genome especially human genome leading to enhanced discovery of drug targets and individualized therapy before starting with the details of bioinformatics it is very essential to understand the difference between bioinformatics and computational biology Bioinformatics and computational biology both are computers plus biology. Bioinformatics, biology plus computers, whereas computational biology, computers plus biology. In other words, biologists who specialize in use of computational tools and systems to answer problems of biology are bioinformaticians. On the other hand, computer scientists, mathematicians, statisticians, and engineers who specialize in developing theories, algorithms, and techniques for such tools and systems are computational biologists. Bioinformatics are mainly concerned with problems involving data emerging from within cells of living beings. Bioinformatics. Bio means living beings, right? If we want a complete molecular details in living organism, we need biological data. And this biological data will emerge from the cells of living beings. Now, what are these data emerging from a cell? We can list four important data required by analyzed in bioinformatics. DNA sequences. RNA sequences, protein sequences, and microarray images. DNA, RNA, and protein sequences are just text data that can be opened with a text editor, while microarray images is a digital image, right? In a nucleus of each cell, DNA molecule is packaged into thread-like structures called chromosome. Just look at this diagram. This is a chromosome, and each chromosome is made up of DNA tightly coiled many times around protein called histone proteins, right? And the structures which are formed are called nucleosomes, right? So these brown in color are the histone proteins and this is DNA wrapped around the histone protein. So this is nucleus, uh, nucleosomes, right? And this is DNA. Then DNA replicate and coding for RNA. This is DNA, double standard DNA, right? When DNA replicate and coding for RNA through transcription, then RNA is formed. This is RNA. Then further RNA, this RNA codes for proteins by translation. This is protein and protein is everything in our body. Now listen, if we cut and open the nucleus, pull out the genome, read it using sequencing machinery, it would look equally uninteresting, running into a long, seemingly nonsensical sequence. Just look at this diagram. This is sequence of four type of bases present in DNA, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thiamine, right? So it will look like this, a string of bases. Every cell of our body has this information only and cells are simply great in copying them when they divide. Similarly, RNA. RNA contains, just like DNA, four kinds of molecules, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil. 
the last one replacing thymine in DNA means in RNA base uracil is present instead of thymine which is present in DNA. So RNA sequence may run like this a string of four type of the bases right. RNA is a single standard unlike DNA which is a double standard and can also assume certain unique shapes. Then proteins. Proteins are most important molecules in life. They are uh, made of amino acids which are 20 in count. The amino acids list start like um, uh, alanine, arginine, as asparagine, uh, aspartic acid, cysteine, glutamic acid, glutamine, right? So a protein sequence will look like this, a string of amino acids, right? So this is sequence, uh, protein sequence, right? So what are these sequences? DNA sequence, RNA sequence, protein sequence. This is biological data, right? This is raw biological data, usually refer as DNA, RNA and protein. Biological data come in many types, not only as sequence data that we have discussed now only. We have discussed sequence data, right? But biological data come in many types as sequence data, graphs, high dimensional data, geometric information, patterns, images, right? Sequence data have grown enormously with the development of automated sequencing technology. Graphs, biological data indicating a relationship can be captured as graphs, right? As in the case of pathway data, uh, genetic maps and structural, uh, structured taxonomies, right? High dimensional data because system biology is highly dependent on uh, comparing the behavior of various biological units, right? So data point that might be associated with behavior of an individual unit must be collected for thousands of comparable units. Then genetic information. Because great deal of biological function depends on relative shape. So molecular structure data are very important. Then data as patterns. Within the genome are patterns that characterize biologically interesting intentions. Then images both natural and artificial images, very important part of biological research, right? Then biological databases. Now, what are these biological databases? A collection of biological data arranged in computer readable form that enhance the speed of search and uh, retrieval and convenient to use is called biological databases, right? Biological databases, uh, maybe primary database, secondary database, uh, database, or drive database. Primary databases contain only sequence uh, or structural information, and uh, it includes nucleotide sequence database, protein sequence database, and these are the examples, right? Similarly, secondary database. It includes primary structure database, domain and motif database, then drive databases like structure database, gene expression database, metabolic pathway database, specialized database, right? So these are the examples. So we will discuss these examples one by one in coming lectures. But today, uh, but, um, uh, today I will give you only an overview of uh, bioinformatics, right? Only examples. Main purpose of the biological database is to store and manage biological data and information like biological sequences, structures, binding sites, metabolic interactions, molecular action, functional relationship, protein families, motifs, and homologous in computer readable forms. Right now, why this biological data is required in order? To get the answers of many questions, right? So big questions that biologists want compute, computational biologists to answer are there are number of the questions. First of all, questions on the basis of DNA sequences 
on the basis of DNA sequences, questions uh, that uh, arise like where are the genes, gene finding, how similar is the given sequence with another one, pairwise sequence alignment, how similar are the set of given sequences, multiple sequence alignment, where on this sequence does another given biomolecule, biomolecule bind, transcription factor binding site identification. How can we compress this sequence or how can we visualize this sequence in cycle? Similarly, on the basis of RNA sequences, biological functions of an RNA is expressed more by its folded architecture, just look at this diagram, than by its sequence, right? So, th this is the uh, sequence data and these are the uh, means uh, architecture, folded architecture, right? So here, computational tools enable biologists to solve classical problems related to RNA research, like constructing structure, multiple alignment, right? Inferring complete structure and structural motifs from RNA uh, alignment, or searching structural homology in genomic database, right? Then questions that come from protein sequence databases. How similar are the set of protein sequences, pairwise and multiple sequence alignment? What is the exact structure that protein will fold into by specifying the coordinate uh, of every atom in it? What is the primary, secondary, and tertiary structure of the molecule? This is the great uh, protein folding problem. What, which part is most chemically active? Active site determination problem. How would it interact with another protein? Protein-protein interaction. To which cell compartment is this protein belonging to? Protein subcellular localization or protein sorting problems, right? So, then we'll provide the data to computational biologists. And computational biologists will use the computational tools and will manage and analyze the data and will provide the answer of all uh, of our question as a biologist, right? So, computational tools for sequence uh, analysis, means sequence analysis tools, includes BLAS, cholesterol, tea coffee, MAME, MEGA, uh, PHY, LIP, then structural, uh, structure analysis tool, these tools are used for analyzing the structure of proteins and nucleic acid. And uh, some popular structure analysis tools are CN3D, PYML, RSML, ODELLER. Similarly, functional analysis tools. These tools are essential for understanding the function and the relationship between different genes and proteins uh, and for identifying key pathways involved in diseases. So these tools include GEO, gene expression uh, omnibus, then interproscan, then COBRA toolbox, then pathway tools, right? So these are the tools. So this is all about a simple introduction to bioinformatics. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.